What's going on guys? This is JT and Bobby back at you with another video on my man Bobby's account. In this video, what we're going to be doing is checking out his account, letting him explain the progress, and then also, of course, we can't not end it with a purchase as well. So we're going to get into the bazaar, see which bazaar helps this account out the most, and then kind of, you know, choose what we're going to buy after we take a quick peek and take a quick uh, scout of this account and see what we got going on. So I'm going to let Bobby go ahead and take over and let you guys know what he's been up to on this account. So mostly what I've been doing is upgrading my uh, gold mines and mana mill. Yeah, I can tell they're the 16 and 17. Yeah. Good job, dude. That's because I've been trying to get the six hero base for a while now. And I've also been uh, inscribing my heroes so who I mean, all have you been focusing on inscribing mainly uh mostly a nubis sasquatch a theme storm pumpkin duke and a walla oh nice dude that's not bad so you really need to focus on inscribing them even more if you have enough blue crystals if i don't know we're gonna have to take a peek and see how many blue crystals you actually got so yeah oh you got well, what you got 50 million blue crystals dude Oh, yeah, we got to inscribe those heroes up, baby. So we got to raid a little bit more, get those heroes inscribed. What town hall level are you? Um, town hall 15. level 15. Okay, yeah, so we got to speed that town hall up as well because once you get to level 17 town hall, you actually get a whole new gold vault and mana vault, which is going to help you get that golden vault, gold, gold and mana vaults up to 5 million total gold. That way you can start evolving heroes yeah. in the future. What else? Have you been working on anything else, Bobby? Um, I'm mostly, oh. Now, I'm to Expert Dungeon. Not bad, dude. Been going pretty hard on the dungeons, I see, yeah. I see, I see. Not bad, my friend. I Expert Dungeon 8, have you started on any of the insane ones yet? I cannot pass one. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even pass the first one? No. Okay, well, you know, what might help you out with that is the Relic Call. Do you know what the Relic Call is or no? No. Okay, the Relic Call is this book right here. You, I need to teach you how to use this, dude. It's very important. It's this right oh, here. Yeah. You got it level 14, so the spells are important. Have you been using these at all? Yeah. In Insane Dungeons? Okay, all right. Well, I was just making sure because we got to keep leveling this up because having that snowstorm skill right there is going to really help you, no doubt, in the dungeons for sure. So what you want to do is, is let me just do a quick dungeon raid just so you understand what you need to be doing in the raid. I'm sure we're not going to beat this insane dungeon, but at least you'll get an idea of what you need to be doing, right? Mm -hmm. So what you want to do is... A lot of the times is this little angel right here gives your heroes an invulnerability to where they can't even take damage. Mm -hmm. So like if you see a point in the raid where you drop all your heroes and you're like, oh crap, a hero's about to die. You can throw that guardian's angel on the hero and then that hero no longer dies. You understand that, right? Yeah. Okay, good. So this spell right here actually increases the, the movement speed of them. It increases their attack rate. and It basically makes them a lot stronger. So a lot of the times you want to start out with this. So watch how I do this. I'm going to start this, put this right here, lead out with the strongest hero, which is Anubis. So we'll throw all the heroes out. As soon as we see these heroes taking in damage like they are right now. Oh, we don't have Pumpkin Duke in the house. That's okay, though. We might still be able to get through without Pumpkin Duke. So now we see these heroes coming towards our heroes. I'm going to go ahead and throw down that invulnerability right there. Like I said, we might not beat this dungeon, but we might be able to get to 50%. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, nope. Well, that's okay. We need to beef up these heroes just a little bit. Overall, that wasn't a bad attempt. And you kind of get, like, what's going on with how you're supposed to use the spells from that, right? Yeah. Okay, for sure. All right, so is there anything else that uh, you wanted to explain that you can think of? Have you been working on pets? Have you been working on... I'm not, like, I've, I've forgotten about pets a little because I've been mostly working on the, the important stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I mean, pets aren't, like, a hugely important thing, but you definitely want to make sure that you do at least put your pets on the hero. And one thing, just by opening up this pet plaza that I can see is is whenever you raid the golden mana, you can level up these pets just by simply clicking upgrade right here. So you need to come in here, definitely level up all these pets, get them up to a little bit higher of a level. And I know you don't have that many mastery essences right now, but when you do, you can come in here and actually level up their skill level as well. And it makes the pets a lot stronger, just like the heroes, right? Yeah. So let's go ahead and get into the bazaar today and take a quick peek. Our main goal is to get Levanica on this account as soon as possible. 
So we're really looking for either like Lavanica bag ones, Lavanica bag twos, whatever fits the account best. So I mean, if we look at this $100 pack, you do get six Lavanica bag twos, which are very nice and no one's Bob Bobby's luck. He is very lucky. So we'd probably get quite a few Lavanica soul stones from those. Yeah. But I mean, to be honest, this nimble insignia, Bobby doesn't know that much about it, but I do. And this, it's just not that great. It's just not that good. It's kind of like the main focus on this hundred dollar pack as well. It just seems like a waste of money in my opinion, especially for this account here. Now these blessed tomes would be nice. He does need mastery essence is pretty bad. Mm -hmm. These pet bag threes would be nice because they'd give him pets that he doesn't even have yet. Also these prime bag threes. It'd be okay for some level nine talent runs in the future, but he hasn't even evolved any heroes yet. So he's far away from using the fine enchantment chest. Actually, let's show him what all heroes you got. What heroes do you want, Bobby, that you're missing? So Anything specific? Let him know. I want Commodore, Boogeyman, and Gunslinger. Yeah. Mostly. Okay. Yeah. Anything else? Do you want Commodore because she's in Hero Collector today? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is, oh, no, she isn't in Hero Collector today. What? Not what? I know. Oh, I thought Boogie. she was in. I know. It's Boogeyman. That's Ooh. crazy. It's so, going to get. It's going to be able to get easy. You, you'll end up getting Boogeyman, though. We already yeah. know. So we need Boogeyman or Rockno because we are going to be spending money, like I told you guys, and rolling for Hero Collector, no doubt. So Candy Cane would be a huge help. That mm -hmm. way you can get the Gunslinger because mm -hmm. you don't have Gunslinger. So what other heroes are you missing on this account? You're missing. You don't have Boogeyman, right? Nope. Or Commodore. So you don't, do you have Rowdy Rascals? No. And I don't have Muhammad or Shiller. You don't have either one of those either, or Levant. So you don't have any of the new stuff. Yeah, we haven't logged. We haven't been on your account in a long time. So you got Storm. What about Serena? Yeah, I have Serena. And you don't have Dove? I do have Dove. Oh, you do have Dove. Yeah. Let me check. You sure you have Dove? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, there's Dove right there. Good call, bro. You got dubbed 10 of 10 as well. Very nice. All right. So, I mean, we still got some good heroes in this account, no doubt. But we're definitely going to get a lot better of heroes once we decide which what we're going to buy from the bazaar. And we really do want to spend $100 today, but I'm not feeling that $100 pack. So, let's keep scrolling down and see what else we got. We got the $50 pack right here, which could guarantee us a Commodora along with these Mastery Essences, which would be very nice for this account. But... Other than that, it's like, man, like the fame would be okay for his account right now, but it's just not really what we want. I do like this $20 pack specifically yeah. for this revitalize. I mean, long term, that is going to be very good for his account. No doubt about that. And it also yeah, comes, yeah, it comes with eight Levanica bags. The problem with these Levanica bags is normally you get one, two or five soul stones and normally more than no more than that. Yeah. So it's kind of rare to get stuff through that. So we might go with a couple of purchases Ooh, from my luck. Yeah, that's true. One time, Bobby, with the good luck. Whoa, yes, sir. <laughs> All right, so we're probably going to go with that $20 pack there, to be honest. The, this uh, $5 pack and $10 pack, yeah, I don't really see much that we need. We actually might buy one of the $10 pack just so you have some revitalizes on the account plus that level 8 faint along with 60,000 fame is actually pretty nice plus you need these mastery essences to get some of the new heroes are about to get yeah. 10 of 10 right so yeah. I think we might buy like one or two of these packs at least one of those packs and then let's go ahead and check we got this $100 pack that is an option it would honestly be really good but it's too expensive I feel like yeah. $100 I mean yeah you get the 15 talent rooms which are nice but then you think like talent runes, like later in the game, it's right. going to be less money. It's, good call, brother. It's all about saving the money, Bobby. No doubt, brother. All right, so we also got this pack, which is a $50 pack for an automatic 100 Levanica Soul yeah. Stones, which is honestly pretty freaking awesome. Mm -hmm. You know, and you get the Levanica skin, and you get to max it out. Along with 25 of those coins that is the discount store today. And like yeah. you said, you wanted to try out the new discount store. Yeah. So that would definitely be helpful for that. Plus you get 40 level 5 talent chests, which are very nice as well. If you don't yeah. know, these are guaranteeing you a level 5 talent. But of yeah. course it's random and normally you get the, the bad talents yeah. normally. But hopefully we get lucky and snatch up something good. Like I said, you're here. So the goods are probably going to show up. Yeah. Now we also got this $20 pack as well, which... Eh, it's a bunch of pets. It's a little bit of extra gems, but pretty much trash all the way around. And then, I'm not feeling that. Yeah, I'm not either, dude. The $10 demo pack, it's like, meh. It's like a bunch of... Pretty soon that's going to be $5. Exactly, <laughs> dude. Exactly. You got the idea, my good friend. So, yeah, as, as I look through this, I think we're going to go ahead and stick with this $50 pack that does give us 
the Levanica Soul Stones guarantees us that. And then we're going to split up the, the last amount of money on probably the $20 pack that gives us the eight Revitalized Insignia plus some bags and then maybe also one or two of the $10 pack just for help. So let's go ahead and take a quick peek at the events as well. That way you guys are prepared, prepared for what's coming next after we buy the gem. So, I mean, we got for events today, we have, what do we got? We got... What is the holiday prelude pack? Oh, those are the extra packs. So we got Dragon Orbs, which is an all right event. It's not that great. We also got the accumulate Accumulation Bonanza, which depending on how many packs we buy, we might get a Demo Gorgon card. I can't remember. Do you have the Demo Gorgon Dragon on this account? No. No? Okay, so let's see. If you buy... Oh, uh, no. Wow, you have to buy 150,000 gems Wait. to collect that? Okay, so we could either buy them for $10 or we could spend $500 and get them through this. Depending on what we're, wait, like, or we could just wait. Yeah, <laughs> we could do that as well. So we got plants for prizes once we spin the gems, and we also got lucky prospect, and then we got the devotion gifts. Oh, actually, wait, eleven mastery essences is what it gives us. That's it, eleven mastery essences. That's not really that many. What was that devotion gifts? So eleven. 11 Mastery Essence 3s. I mean, it's better than none. So, all right. So, we're going to get some Mastery Essence 3s, which are going to help us because we are definitely going to get a... Oh, no. We're not even going to get the 11 Mastery Essence 3s because we're not getting a $100 pack. We're only getting $50 packs. Well, it feels bad, man. But besides that, like I said, we got Hero Collector and also Discount Store coming up in the next video. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. JT and Bobby are out for now. Peace out, fellas. I think that was good.